Okay, so one of the things could be a distraction. So whatever it is you feel like you're just kind of overindulging in, like maybe you've been watching too much TV, maybe you've been binging on a Netflix series, it's something like give time to God. Really, it's really, honestly, just sometimes we're just not spending enough time with him. Spend more time with him. That helps you get to know, that helps you get to know his voice a little more too. Because now, the more you spend time with someone, you become familiar with their voice. Obviously, that's, that's how it works. And it's the same thing with God. It's like, the more time you spend with him, the more you get to know him, you'll know his voice. So when you do have dreams, or when someone does say something, or when you do see something, or, you know, and then plus you know his word, it's like, you feel things in your spirit and you know it's him. The things that, and sometimes it is audible in your voice. For me, that's how it is. It's audible. Some things are very clear. I can hear it very clear sometimes when God rebukes me. Um, lady, you're, uh, you're prideful in this situation. Or lady, uh, yeah, I think I get that a lot. Like, uh, And I think a lot of us probably struggle with it too because it's like, uh, when we're not relying on God or having full faith in God, we're struggling with the spirit of pride. It's like you think that you know best, you know, like you think that you have it all figured out on how you're going to live your life or how you're going to get whatever money you need for what, you know, so take away all the distractions. And so that's what's, so sometimes uh, you just need to fast from whatever it is. A lot of people fast from food. But sometimes you could fast from something else. Like I, I fasted from social media because I realized I was overindulging in that when I couldn't hear from God and I didn't want to know what was actually going on with me. Um, some people turn to TV. Some people do turn to food. Uh, I did go on a three-day fast one time. Once. That was the, the I, that was the only time I went over 24 hours without eating anything. So it was obviously the only time I went three days without eating anything. At the end of it, I got something I did not expect. Um, I went in with a friendship, came out with a friendship. God definitely opened my eyes to so much. And I didn't expect that going in. It was not what I, I was not fasting for that friendship. Um, but that, God re really opens up your, like, your eyes and your ears when you are fasting to see and hear things that's why i say don't look for something so you're not fasting to like push your own agenda you're not fasting like oh god like i want this uh god i mean i want this guy to propose to me so i'm going fast so he does it no you might fast and you might you know might realize the opposite you might you might really get out of it something you are not seeing and that's what it's about it's like i just want to get closer to you god and i just want to hear what you're saying about this stuff in my life like I need your guidance I need your direction that's what it is it's getting closer to him he's going to start revealing things to you um and that's what he did in that situation I had no idea had no idea I was going to come out without a friendship especially that particular one um but that's what happened uh so you know kind of pushing me back on fast I'm like look these these things is real <laughs> these fast is real so it kind of I'm like I don't know if I want to do another fast, but it definitely helps. So definitely getting getting rid of distractions and like I was talking about the pride. Sometimes we have the wrong attitude. Sometimes you are prideful. Um, sometimes you do think that you you know the best way, and that's why you went ahead and got, got whatever car when God said don't go and go don't go out and buy that car or like what you know that's why we go ahead and do stuff anyway because we're prideful and it's like then we convince ourselves that oh no. Um, God is giving me the yes on this. He is not giving you the yes on that. You giving you the yes on it. And you've convinced yourself so much that you're at peace with it. And that's scary. So don't ever get so prideful that you just hearing yourself but think you're hearing God. Uh, I don't know how to better explain that. But it happens. So just be aware. That's why you always just want to check yourself with God. You always want to check yourself with God. Um, so distractions the wrong attitude uh even not even with pride if it could just be like how you're viewing someone so, with unforgiveness sometimes you're so upset with people i i had i i struck you i don't want to say i current but so i have had my experiences with unforgiveness it is a difficult thing to push through at least for me so sometimes i just have to pray like god Help me to see them how you see them. Because at the end of the day, God still loves that person. God still sees the good in that person. So 
help me to see what you see god because <laughs> i don't see you know but it's like I, it's good and it's good in every single person god has specially made every single person so we all have our shortcomings and our our things that we do and it's, that we struggle with and it's like god this person struggles with whatever and in the event i was hurt you know but help me to see past and not to be a fool and to walk back into something you pulled me out of but just so that my heart is not burdened by this anymore just so that i can release them because sometimes we try to hold our unforgiveness over other people and it's like your unforgiveness that don't honestly it don't got nothing to do with them and i have a video for that so i'm not even going to touch on that anymore because i have a video on even when they're not apologizing you still are responsible for your forgiveness and your healing sucks but that's how it is and it you can do it um but yes yeah, so that uh the wrong attitude distractions and unconfessed sin so sometimes you are involved in sin that you know you were involved in or sometimes i believe sometimes mm, I don't know but let's talk about the ones you know about unconfessed sin you're involved so yeah so, sometimes you don't know in that but usually that's because of that pride sometimes you have allowed yourself to go so far down a path that God did not set you on and that's why you're not hearing him anymore and you're hearing yourself but thinking you're hearing him so that that's kind of those two kind of go hand in hand but unconfessed sin so sometimes uh it could be shame that makes like i can't go to god or god is not going to da 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 god still loves you at the end of the day you know if you have not talked to him about that sin you need to go to him and and talk to him about it repent like literally that's all you have to do and but you have to and I don't, I, we say ask for forgiveness, but really what we're doing is we're accepting his forgiveness. God has already forgiven you. He died on that cross already. It's already done. That's why I want you to know it's already done. Everything that you're going to do, he already knows it. He's already forgiven you for it. Um, so if you fall, like, don't think you can't get back up. That, that discredits everything that Jesus did for us, you know? So he didn't he didn't die for nothing so if i fall i'm not gonna sit here and act like i don't know jesus already saved me you know so he died for a reason um he died for you he died for me he died for all of us so talk to him i don't know what you might be struggling with like something might have happened i trust me i know that feeling and it's difficult to remind yourself that you still are qualified you still are um God still loves you and he still wants to use you and give you everything that he intended to give you and do everything through you that he intended to do through you. It's it's difficult to remind yourself of that, but that's why I say like knowing his word, you know what he's saying. That's what he's saying to you. So what I'm saying to you right now, that's what I know God says in his word. And so when I'm feeling like that, that's what I speak to myself because that's what God says in his word. He still loves you. There's nothing that can separate you from his love. So I want to remind you and encourage you in that because that can keep you from hearing him when this a situation i just got out of not too long ago completely was trying to tamper with how i heard from him i was very confident in how i heard from god as soon as i realized what was going on that i was going down a path that was going to lead to destruction but i didn't recognize it and when i it was coming out of the past where i recognized it and i felt horrible i felt like god i've been on social media encouraging people with your word and here i was caught in something that i didn't even know i was caught in but it's possible and that you know it happens uh that's why when you see someone in the body and you see someone in ministry something is going on like so it's not always very uh visible or a uh you know it, all these things are spiritual so it's not always just a easy thing you know so pray pray if you see something in the church pray for that person because they may not know they may really not know and you just pray that god opens their eyes and that they follow his lead if they're truly obeying god eventually um he will open their eyes to the situation and they will make the right um correction so as soon as my eyes were open i 
made the correction I need to make. I think that I'm still trying to fully understand what happened. So I'm still going through that, so can't really talk about it yet. Um, but coming out of it, I felt so disqualified. I felt like, God, how can you use me to, to speak to people and speak your word? It's like when, and then that's where it's like, nope, Satan, you're not about to get me with this thing because that, that leads to pride. Satan will make you think you got to be perfect to speak the word of God. And I have to remind myself, like, lady, you're not perfect. You, you've never been perfect. You, you know. God is not requiring you that you be perfect in order for him to use you. He requires for you to obey him. In the situation you found out that you were not uh, hearing something he was telling you. It's like in the situation though that you've heard him finally lady and that your eyes have finally been open. You make the right adjust adjustments. You repent and you turn from the path that you were going down. And that's that's what God expects of us. Repent. Like he, his grace is sufficient for us. So his grace was sufficient for me to move on. I... I I still kind of struggle with it because I'm like, God, it's too much of a burden to give words when I be like, not that I'm actively sinning, but it's like I fall into situations where it's like I didn't understand it. Then I understand it afterwards and I feel bad that I got caught up in it, you know? So just pray for that person, whoever you see might be going through some because a lot of times they don't know. A lot of times their eyes are just not open yet. So pray for people. We have to stop from, um, judging first and i even have learned that for myself and how i viewed others it's like how they do x y and z and they they don't understand it yet you know it's like i used to be going out to clubs too and i surely was a christian i surely uh did have a relationship with god it's like i would hate if someone judged me and said lady don't got a, a relationship with god because she out in the club no pray for lady that the lord opens her eyes to understand why he does not want her in that environment you know Cause there, you know, so just, and that, that's things that you talk about with God. Like, okay, God, show me this. What, why is it that da da da? Or why, you know, ask Him. He will tell you. If you have the desire to hear from God and to listen to Him, listen, and to listen to Him, He's going to speak to you. He wants a close relationship with you. There's no one uh, special that only get. You know, you just have to be willing to listen and just. If you you're willing to listen, you're going to talk to Him more. You're going to start hearing from Him more. He's going to reveal more things and this is super long so i'm going to start getting off so i don't know who that was or what if it was more than one person who was struggling with the sin that i really want to touch on and if you have to if you feel led to message me definitely and i can pray for you um but just know that it's it's a lie from satan that you can't move forward from this whatever the consequence was whatever came out of it it, and who cares what other people think of you because of it god is the only one that can judge you and it's like he knows your heart if you came out of this knowing like god i simply did not know you know when god died on the cross he said for they know not what they do and sometimes that's the situation that's why you just need to pray for people sometimes they just really don't know because you just pray that god reveals it to them um so people that are judging you right now focus on god focus on God. He knows your heart. He knows where you are. He will deal with the surroundings. He has your back. He got you. He's not telling you to back down from what he called you to do. First of all, you have no excuse to back down. There's, Satan is trying to give you reasons to not carry out what God called you to do. Despite what you have done or what you have been through or what your story is, God still wants you to move forward. In fact, he's going to use those very things that you have done and experienced to as part of your 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 ministry and what he's called you to do here his his power is made perfect in weakness so it's like i can get up here and i could talk about how i struggled but how god brought me through and i can encourage people um through their situations it's like i've been there too and this is what was going on so it's like he's going to use all of the that for your good and for the good of others so just be encouraged this was really long i talked about a lot of things other than god speaking to you but i i this is what god put in my spirit i just let him i just let it flow so you know uh also sh you know i want this to be more of a discussion thing so share how you've heard from god what experiences have you had in like dreams or him uh, dropping word in your spirit or how did you uh get better at uh, disciplining yourself in your relationship with him like praying or having a prayer time or getting in his word what, what books did you start with what books do you like what books do you recommend like let's help each other out so thank you for watching uh i'll have 
bits and pieces of this video everywhere because it's super long so if you got this far um comment it doesn't have to be anything specific but comment and thank you for watching i hope you were encouraged make sure you go home or wherever you are make sure you apply the things i've said first of all make sure you go check the things i've said number one two apply it once you've downloaded it apply it because we lose it when we don't apply it i need you to go apply it so if i spoke something that really spoke to you where it's like oh i think she's talking to me apply it god is speaking apply it um and then three share it um and don't go sharing you know like oh she said this about uh relationships let me go tell my friend that that man is not no don't do that share it like to encourage someone so if you know someone struggling with sin like pray 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 for them maybe apply it by praying for them um yeah so i just want you to share like if you felt led to share if you felt led by god to share with someone specific go ahead and share with them uh go ahead like the video subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed i'm going to be doing more of this and finding out how i could best do these but this word needed to get out so i'm just glad that uh god has used me in the situation i hope that you were blessed by it bye